All metal roofing is not created equal. In this video, we're gonna look at five major differences between standing seam metal roofing and corrugated or screw down metal roofing so that you can make a good decision on what's the right product for your upcoming project. All right, the first difference that we're gonna talk about between standing seam metal and regular corrugated metal is the fasteners. So in a corrugated metal, you're gonna have an exposed fastener and in a standing seam metal roofing system, you're gonna have a hidden fastener. So let's start with the corrugated metal first. This is probably the type of metal that most people are familiar with. You're gonna take a screw and you're just gonna basically shoot it right through the face of the metal and it's gonna hold the metal to the building via this screw and you're gonna see these screws, hence the exposed fastener. Now a standing seam is a lot different in that you can't see the fasteners on a standing seam because the screws aren't through the face of the metal. On a standing seam panel, the screws are gonna go into a clip. So we've got a pancake head screw here. You're gonna put the clip on the side of the standing seam and then you're gonna run the screw into the clip like this. So the, the standing seam, you can't see the screws. Well, why is that an important feature? Well, it's an important feature because the only thing that stops water from getting into your structure with a corrugated metal is this little rubber washer. And in the Midwest, in the area that we're at, Southern Indiana, Northern Kentucky, we find that these washers, they're just a little neoprene washer, they go bad somewhere between near nine and 12, and you're gonna end up with leaks in your building around these screws. So it is a big deal when you have a metal that would last longer than nine years, but your washers are failing, so you get develop leaks. With the standing seam roof, you just don't have that because there's no exposed fasteners. The fasteners are all underneath of the next panel and they're, they're screwed into this clip. So exposed fastener versus hidden fastener, that is the difference number one and it's a major difference. All right, the second major difference between standing seam metal and the corrugated metal is that the standing seam design allows the metal to expand and contract. All metal is gonna expand and contract, but the standing seam design with the clips having being screwed down to the structure and not the metal panel allows the standing seam to expand and contract every day as the sun pops out and goes back down. So you can see here the clip is attached to the structure, but the metal is never pinned down itself. So the, in the standing seam system, the, the panel can, can expand as the day heats up and it can contract and it never is going to be pinned into one place quite like the corrugated metal. The corrugated metal is screwed right through the face and it's pinned. So, but why does that matter? Well, over time, the metal is gonna heat up and it has nowhere to go, so it's gonna push on the screws or nails, and over time it'll actually push those screws and nails out. Now, even on a steel building, we, we've gone back to steel buildings uh, several years later, and the uh, cinch straps on the seams of the panels, even in steel, will have like twisted themselves out and backed the screws out from the pressure of the expansion every day, pushing on the screw or the fastener, and then coming back down the next day, pushing on it again. So. Um, having the metal be able to float through the expansion contraction cycle is, is, a, is a good thing. So all metal roofing moves with expansion and contraction because of the daytime heating and cooling. So if the sun comes out, a metal roofing is going to expand and the sun goes back in, a cloud moves over the sun, the, the metal is going to contract. It's just what metal does and it's just a part of the nature of metal. So one of the big differences between standing seam and the corrugated metal is that the standing seam allows the movement of the metal to happen because the screws are not into the metal, it's into the clip. So we're back to the clip idea. So when this metal expands and contracts, it can slide up and down the clips and it can move without breaking watertight seams that are, or seals that are up around the transitions, the trims, uh, the, the ridge, valleys. It, it can move without becoming uh, a, a leak spot. Now, uh, corrugated metal is fixed. It's pinned down with screws. And remember that little that little rubber washer that we showed you? If you get a lot of movement in this metal, you're gonna break that seal. This metal to stay dry relies on that seal, on that screw. And there's a whole bunch of screws in this metal. So movement for this metal is bad. And over time, we've even seen, since this metal cannot, it, it, just, it just can't, the expansion contraction has nowhere to go. Over time, the pushing of the metal will actually, will actually back nails and screws back them out and cause a leak there. So a, a, a big difference between standing seam and corrugated metal is the movement. The design of standing seam allows it to move without breaking watertight seals in the system, whereas corrugated metal needs to stay put, but metal doesn't stay put. It moves around with thermal expansion and contraction. So 
It's another factor, that's a reason why the screws fail and that trims fail, valleys fail over time on the corrugated and they don't fail on the standing seam because the movement has been built into the system with the standing seam but not with the corrugated metal. All right, the third major difference that I want to point out between a standing seam metal roof system and maybe this corrugated system here or another kind of R panel, anything that would be a screw down system, would be the trims like the ridge, the eave, the rakes, pitch breaks, pitch transitions, valleys. All of the trims in a standing seam system are going to be interlocking. And what do I mean by interlocking is we're going to use a, a turn down of the metal called a hem. So we're going to take the metal and we're either going to turn it down and make a hem and we're going to slide it onto another piece of uh, maybe an offset cleat or a piece of Z uh, to make an interlocking joint. Whereas in corrugated metal, you don't have any of that. There's no hems, there's no bread pans. Basically metal gets laid on top of other metal and it gets shot with a screw in it. So the, the joints in corrugated metal are metal on top of metal with screws ran in them. That's about the gist of it. And with standing seam, it's going to be an uh, interlocking system of trims with, uh, with details uh, that, that will, will be hidden fastener and pieces of metal interlocked. So I guess the example that I would show of this would be right here at the, the, the eave of this sample here, we've got a piece of drip edge and you can see on this piece of metal, we've already got this piece turned down and it's hemmed and it's hooked onto this drip edge. So in our, in our barn metal or our corrugated metal, it's just laying on top of the drip edge. In our standing seam, this panel here has been turned, it's been bent down, and it's actually, it's hooked into or onto the drip edge. So th that's an example of what I mean by interlocking trims and, and how uh, the standing seam differs from the corrugated metal. All right, the fourth major difference between standing seam metal and the corrugated metal would be the seams in the panels. So in the corrugated metal, it's very common to see seams just like this where you've got maybe a 30 foot run and you've got two 15 foot pieces of metal and they're just one piece of metal laid and another piece of metal laid right on top of it, screws shot right down the seams. These rust, they leak, the expansion contraction pushes the seams open, water, snow, ice, it, it, it's just a way for it to enter the building or the home. In standing seam, especially with this type of standing seam that we roll form on site, you have no seams. We run these panels from the eave to the ridge. It doesn't matter if it's a 15 footer or a 115 footer. We manufacture the panel right on site and we just have no seams. So no seams means no place to leak. This, uh, the standing seam is a solid sheet of metal from the gutter to the ridge and that's just not possible with long runs on corrugated metal because the, the thickness and the gauge of it, it's not uh, able to, to be ran out in much more than about 30 foot is about what we've seen about the longest guys can handle that metal in. But standing seam is a thicker panel and it can, it can be full length. It can be ran out whatever the eave to the ridge length is. So no seams is another major difference between standing seam and corrugated metal. All right, the last and fifth major difference between the standing seam metal and the corrugated metal would be the thickness in the paint. So a corrugated metal panel is gonna be a 29 gauge and a lot of that metal is 29 gauge and that's even with the paint. So it's a very thin metal, whereas your standing seam panels are gonna be 24 gauge without the paint. So there's a big difference in the thickness of the metal. The next thing I would say would be the paint. So on a barn metal or a corrugated metal, screw down metal, you're gonna end up with the paint uh, that's a siliconized polyester paint. And it's gonna last, but it's gonna chalk and fade. Your 10, your 12, 15, that paint's gonna chalk and fade. On your standing seams, you're not gonna find that kind of paint, you're gonna find Kynar. And the Kynar paint warranty is 35 years. So your paint is gonna last just as long as your roof. So what, what good is a roof if it doesn't look good? Even if it doesn't leak, if it, if, it, if it looks terrible after 10 or 15 years, it still hasn't done you much good. But the standing seam with the Kynar paint will stay good looking for years to come. All right, so there were five major differences between the standing seam and the corrugated metal. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something, and we'll see you next time.